And 60 the needs to be careful now with the uh, forests. Well, they does the first grenadiers pulling into an ambush perhaps. There they go, they turn out doing 180. One How did you see that? <laughs> How did he not uh, see that? <laughs> <laughs> like he ran away with the Volk squad, trying to make uh, Nogano think that he still doesn't have forests, and then he just went with both Volks. Baited. <laughs> Outsmarted. And outfausted. We got the shock trooper out, and it's only a matter of time until they are countered by the Panzer too. Oh god, and there are a lot more mean, uh, manpower than Soviets are used to reinforcing, of course, the shock troops. The nice the mine the there. Combat engineers just uh, laying mines and trying to keep the tide of battle going against them. And this is what Nagano is so good at. As Soviets, almost like a Brazilian jiu-jitsu style of battling on his back, letting the larger opponent, you know, tire themselves out almost. Yeah. Um, also, I don't see a PTRS separate yet. He's going to need it soon. Seemingly, yes. One penal battalion just detonating a mine there. Another candidate for the PTRS rifle upgrade. Oh, just... look at this. Nogano knows that he's way behind in tech, so he's going for the tier 2 to get the Ziz gun. Nice, okay. Oh, yes, that's what I meant. Oh, nice, okay. That's what I was referring to, by the way, at the start of this game. I, you know, people like, Matt, what are you on about? He's got penal battalions. Why are you talking about tier 2 build? Just so used to Nagano having these long drawn out crossroads battles relying on tier 2 support weapons. It's a good map for those, yeah, that's a good point. And we're now trying to minimize the manpower losses instead of retreat on the shocks. I think Nagano won the very first like epic game of GCS2 qualifying, or at least I classed it as such, because obviously you stomped qualifier 1, then Nagano won qualifier 2, and it was like a, just an awesome game from Crossroads of Soviets, where it was going against him so hard against OKW. And he managed to battle back. Penal Battalion under duress here. Stern Pioneers and Panzer II. Oh, that might be a wipe. Could be. A wipe. Will he get behind this piece of green cover? Oh, he throws smoke from the shock troops with an expert maneuver there. Panzer II rushes on regardless. Do we have PTRS upgrading? Yes, we do, but it's some way off. One Penal Battalion. Is he going to survive? No, he is not. Oh. That's the thing with this matchup, though. It's um, If you lose one of the squads... It's going to be much more punishing for you than it's going to be for OKW. Okay, it's always like this. That's uh, really bad for Soviets. Engineer on low health there, being forced away. <gasps> the Lux is coming in to finish the job. This is really good. Oh, not another one. That's a very valuable unit. However, it's a Zisk gun trap, perhaps. One more shot from the Panzer II. Oh, God, gets away. Oh. He has basically one fighting unit and in like the uh, form of uh, shock troopers. Because now the other penal squad has PTRS, so obviously it's not going to be that efficient against uh, the Volks. Hogana is basically going to bank his efforts on the T70 plus this gun combo. Yes, indeed. Shock troops coming in, forcing away folks, grenadiers. Combat engineers are now trying to take position, but he has so little against the Foch Grenadiers and two Panzer twos now, DevM. Is Isildur going for some absolutely insurgent, belligerent, I think so. I think move. he's going to try to, yeah, exactly. He's going to probably do a rush really soon on the on that solo way Tegan and try to take it out. If he does, it's probably going to be game. This is the kind of plays we like to see, DevM. We love aggression. We know Nagano can, you know, make a crossroads battle. Last 50 minutes can go in either pl player's direction. But Asilda does not want to chance it. He wants to go for the jugular and finish the job like a lion. Seeing so, a weakened animal. Yeah, let's see if it works out for him. Uh, Nagano is desperately tr trying to set up a minefield to protect the Tegan. Trying right now, and it's a good idea. Two mines laid. However, STG Foch Grenadiers get around the minefield, causing the Ziskun all kinds of problems. Meanwhile, another Foch Grenadier against the Vet 2 combat engineer. Shock troops have had to retreat. He needs them on in the battle. 
And here comes the Panzer II. Meanwhile, Foch Grundy's doing a great, great, great job against the Ziskun. Decruing it in one more model. Really bad. I would dare to say that's uh, that's game. <laughs> already, that's already game. Seeming Sometimes like this it. matchup goes that way. Again, a... Oh, losing the PTRS penals perhaps. Here it comes. Oh, losing them and then some. He does have the T70 coming out, but it's not what he needs right now. Oh, here it is. Maybe it can be the heroic T70. The savior. Every shot needs to penetrate. Oh, it is, but it's still not going to be enough. Even that Puma is coming out. Oh, shot troopers die also, leaving him with scant resources. 16 population cap versus 48. <laughs> oh, and the stolen is going. Yeah. With an impotent like main the first group. mistake you do against OKW, it usually goes like this. Oh, and there you go. Trying the old tricks versus the new blood. Isilda says no and finishes the job. It's time for the 1v1 Elite Show. It's time for the 1v1 Elite Showdown. And there you go, Devon. There's the uh, yeah. the end of the game, and uh, Silda finishes the job, taking the series three one, and he's into the final. Twelve minute game as well, and the KDs kind of show that uh, twenty eight kills and fifty six losses to Nogano. So very bad K KDA, I would say. Uh, usually in this matchup, it's a lot more even. Seemingly, let's have a look at these stats that Devem's talking about. There you go. KD differentials. Um, there's the army value graph showing Asilda's dominance. Points held is... Yeah, he finished that game off so quickly. 12-minute game, Devem. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, against OKW, we really have no space for the mistakes, especially early on. If you do lose, like, your M3 or your penal squad, then you're most likely done... I would say uh, it's really difficult to come back from that. It is indeed. And we now have our finalists. One of, I wonder how the other series is going. Let's just have a little uh, check on that. Oh, Amazon Prime Original. It's got a weird facing bloke, former Doctor Who guy, napalm, weird cat size, terrible writing, poor direction. It's called Good Omens. It's an Amazon Original. Hey, now sponsored by Amazon. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> and uh, he's Pompey. This looks like... Uh, which game will this be? Um, let me go to the brackets. Should have these up on one screen, you'd imagine. I knew what I was doing. There's a uh, recent activity there. Let's just go to this whilst I... Wait. Ah, here we go. I found it finally. Ooh. Somebody's updating the uh, brackets to say 5-1 to Silder. It's definitely 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which referee that was. That's funny. <laughs> Maybe it's a uh, new guy. Joves winning 2 0, and they go to Crossing in the Woods. So they're in game three. Joves uh, rocking a series, and it looks like we're not going to have an all Russian final. Oh, sorry. I need to show that on screen. We're not going to have an all Russian final, it seems. Yeah, again, uh, I'm not surprised with this result. I, I was surprised with the voting, though. Um, I do think that Jove uh, clearly had the advantage over Asha. Mm. Yes, same. Well, Devin, you felt the uh, the power of Jove yesterday. So, you know, you, maybe the, the uh, 2016 number one player is back because that guy was a tour de force back then. And, uh, yeah. So very strong these days, too. So let's take a soldier into the final. The slight... He comes out on the lower side of things, but uh, Jove was seed five, a Silda was seed six so yeah five and six pretty much uh and, and somebody questioned what i said in chat earlier on what was it now how dare you question me no i'm joking but um somebody said 
Since when has Isilda been the new blood seeking said that? Isilda is definitely considered the new blood because it takes so long to get to this level of play uh, in Company of Heroes. You know, it took Von Aston four years to win his first tournament. And for two of those years, I was saying, the new guy, Von Aston, is <laughs> like a 23-year-old <laughs> guy that's been playing for like eight years or something. But it's true, DevM. It takes so long. And um, they c we reserve the right to consider them new blood until they've really stamped their authority on the scene. Does. And you also have to consider that he didn't enter in many of the big 1v1 tournaments, so I think this is the first time we are really seeing his elder. It may be the first time he's ever actually placed in a tournament, you know, actually gone quite late on. Let me find my old spreadsheet. Hang on a second. Um, A's list of competitive 1 versus 1 tournaments. I'll put this in chat later on. But this is a comprehensive history of all known um, 1 versus 1 tournaments that are like, you know, traditional rules with money up for grabs. Um, you know, it's, it's a, quite a tight-knit community, but we do keep good records, or at least I've tried to here. And uh, let's see if... Um, what's his name now? Silta has ever... He's never placed in a tournament before. You know, if you look for Nagano... You get 23 matches. Look at all the green that's just popped up. That's Nagano's history in uh, the tournament system. Highlighted green for you. I mean, if you look at the co-caster here, Devem, if you've never known this guy before, this guy has won more tournaments than anybody else. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Devem OP, certainly. <laughs> but yeah, that's why we say he's uh, kind of a new player. Yeah, look, Devem. That's Zero right. entries. You're so shit now. You're honestly awful. <laughs> you, you're washed up. You're pathetic. You've only you only came second, first, and first in the last three tournaments. What are you doing? Bad, you need to quit. <laughs> you're awful. <laughs> no. I'll come back stronger than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's quite cool. I've never actually done this before. Let's look for Love Nest. Uh, there we go. He's he's uh, been a fantastic player as well. Hmm, who else have we got? Who's the other finalists, finalists rather, today? We've got Asher Blot, and I know Asher's never been in a tournament before, so we can consider him new blood for certain. But this is Jove. You can't see Jove back into... This, this, you might think, like, A, hey, chat shit sometimes. He doesn't know what he's on about. But look, back in 2016, March was his last placing in a tournament. But look how much he dominated in that period. Ever since... Basically, 2016. Nothing other than 2016. Um, well, technically, the 27th of December 2015, where he famously uh, lost to hands in that kickoff final. But there you go. So, Jove has made a resurgence. If you're wondering why this is, from mid 2017 to mid 2018, Jove was literally conscripted into the Russian army. Um, and it's obviously taken him about six months, well, even longer, maybe eight months to get back to form. He could not qualify for Grand Championship Series 2 um, after he was told, after qualified 2, the Russians couldn't play anymore due to um, Novichok um, fatalities. <laughs> that couldn't make it up. Yeah, nerve agent um, fatalities. So there you go, Dev. I'm pretty crazy stuff. I'll now pa paste this um, spreadsheet in there. Oh, yeah, Fickle is right. Von, von Ivan's. Um, we'll just show you Von Ivan. He's a big popular guy. Um, von Ivan appears 25 times in the spreadsheet. Uh, on screen, this looks like uh, not like this. He's just he's been battling strong since the tournament since uh, Company of Heroes was first released. He actually won Contender Tournament Two for SNF Five. Well, the player pool was a bit weaker then. I consider Von Ivan's yeah. big rise to fame it came in ESL also, and this is when he truly cemented himself as a. As a, you mean the Von Ivan Paul? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Movie. Well, there was ESL EU and then there was ESL Von Ivan versus Paul. <laughs> um, but then after that, you know, Von Ivan certainly in the top five Co2 players of all time. Um, doing well. And uh, there you go. And there, there was the tal talisman meme, by the way, if you've, never, if you've never seen that. Talisman literally got like 20 second places or something. Just second places for Talisman. All the way until the biggest tournament we ever had. Like, you know, if you're going to win a tournament, I think that's why he's quick, because he was so sick of getting second place. He said, right, I'm, I'm abandoning my 2018. I'm just going to train for one tournament. He wins it, and he was never seen again. <laughs> it disappears from the map. Yeah, well... Ready to cash grab again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, then it was the end of the land tournaments, and Devon was like, it's time for cash grab. <laughs> <laughs> cash grab.
<laughs> Love it. Okay. Sander's back. Okay, I'll let you off now, Sander. Sander was the guy giving me fake audio advice in yesterday's stream, by the way. He kept saying A volume up, and I was like, it's, it's as high as it can go. And it was like, it ended up being like, he ruined an entire YouTube video, basically. <laughs> Just gonna check on Pompey's stream. We might be on a protracted break. Is that a uh, game two or game three? It will be game three. Uh, it's game three. And it's five minutes in, all right. And Jove's dominating already. I'll just show this on screen. You can check this out, of course, on um, Pompey's channel. That's Pompey 606. Um, looks like the final might be closer than we originally think. I mean, Asher Blah is on the back foot, playing as the Brits. I really think Brits got exposed in the later rounds of this tournament. They did great in the first two rounds. But in the best of five series where the players are more relaxed, I think the pedigree of the other factions really rises to the top. Yeah. Also, that depends on kind of the map you're playing in. This map, we had this matchup before, I think. Mm. Uh, and it was kind of a stomp for OKW. It Both was, times. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe we've stumbled across crossing in the woods now, not being a tournament map anymore. Maybe OKW just stomp it every time. You just don't know. So yeah, I predict we should have like 20 minutes or so until um, we're ready for the final. So uh, you might want to just go away for 20 minutes. DevM and I are going to chill out and reset our batteries. Got a full best of five to cast later on today. Um, so a protracted bait break in order. I see there's the stream view has already dropped from like 450 to 290. That's to be expected. But I expect you all back here in about 20 minutes time um, as we prepare for Ashablar, Jove. Sorry, Jove versus... Um, Probably, <laughs> probably Jove versus yeah. def definitely um, Isilda. So don't, don't go anywhere. See you soon. And if you want to know when we're going to be back live, just keep an eye on Ashablar Jove on Pompey's channel. And then it'll take around 10 minutes after that until the game starts. Okay, see you later. Goodbye, everyone.
Hi everybody, you may have seen, so just I'll let this uh, do 